Howdy folks, welcome back to Pencil Tucky Adventures here. Um, this is going to be a product review. One thing I noticed, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. And one thing I noticed, this is not reviewed online. So I figured I'd kind of do a video in depth and show you how much stuff you can kind of pack in this. It's kind of light right now a little bit though. From bear hunting. Let me get my bourbon out of the way, of course. So um, I want to do a little review on the QU divide 1500 backpack um you see i got it pretty stuff full I'm packing up from bear camp here in pennsylvania and i figured well i haven't seen any reviews on this online on youtube so i figured i'd go over and show you all kind of st some of the stuff i carry for bear camp and i'll um, just grab the backpack so y'all can get an idea so go ahead and get this started um it's got a hip belt the hip belt here it goes ahead and connects in the center got a nice strap to it easy pull um it's got hip belt patches on both sides this side is where i usually keep my video camera with a spare battery battery um cameras in the background that i usually so i'm doing this on my phone so i got that and then the other side my right side i usually carry a spare set of bullets a couple extra rounds you never know when you need them um, on the shoulder here, this is a little awesome little holster from Marsupial Gear for your radios. Um, fits a uh, one of the old Motorola walk talk you walk about talk about. It's pretty nifty, so keep that clipped on there. That's pretty awesome. So it's got that little clip there. The other side over here, it's got the chest strap. It's also got a little loop down here for any water bladders or anything like that. It's got a sleeve in here for that, and it's got a port up here. Up top, I know you can't see it, but you can slip your drink through that, your bladder. Um, on the sides here, it's got water bottle holders or whatever you want to put in, spot and scope or anything. So, I've got some Mountain Ops Ignite and little 16 ounce nail jeans to keep it quiet instead of carrying water bottles out and making noise. So, so that there. Um, it's got pretty decently padded. Let's see if I can show you here padded backpack straps are not thin so they do bulk up a little bit but as you can see they're probably about width of my finger but they're nice and comfy don't ride too bad it's got the air vent straps on the back it's um puffed out so you can get some breathe it's breathable in there so move on to the next part of the bag the outside will go as it go this is a little quick handy so this is where i put my quick access stuff um hand warmers neck gaiter i usually carry my dragon gloves just a pair of leather, leather, leather gloves just throw in there so it's a nice little handy pouch um i switch some time to time sometimes i put in my kill kit and knife license in there so you can saw stuff so this just opens up like that like a flap so that's pretty cool nice thing about this is that outside packet it's actually got a zipper on the inside so you can get to it in there as well you got this open um in this one like i said i got my dragon gloves carry an extra beanie just in case set of gloves this is my kill kit if you're ever interested in what i carry in that just shoot me a comment and i'll go over what i carry in mine for whitetail and bear here in pennsylvania um backup emergency trail mix usually put my food on the outside too so it holds quite a bit um headlamp you always need one of them and inside here it's got a big pocket i usually put some stuff in here that i don't want to get lost or anything got some bugs crawling in there don't want them in the camp here squish them um it's got a little pocket up here at the top in this pocket i carry my first aid kit what people i guess call them impossibles or possibles i think i can't remember um got spare toilet paper in here clotting rags advil whistle um a little thread needle in case something happens you never know and emergency flashlight carry extra flashlights just in case just to back up so that takes care of that pouch this next one's pretty cool i kind of use it for my sticks for when i carry it out on um my tree stands on public land and if i don't use the sticks i'll throw my deer dragon rope in there um, I don't quarter them out. I drag them out of the woods. Um, some scent killer. And the reason I said about it works for sticks is down here at the bottom. Um, I think Kuyu 
markets this. At, mm, I got some leaves and junk in there. I don't want to open it up, but there's a bottom pouch that goes from the top to the bottom. They are marketed as put your spot and scope down there, just extra. So what I do is big enough to fit. I only carry two sticks out. Um, I leave some of my sticks out in the woods, so it just slips them right down in there and easy access to them. It just keeps it out of the way, nice and tight to the bag. So put like that. It's got some straps here, pull tight. So you put your sticks down there or anything else in there. Um, a lot of people I saw reviews and stuff online, not in the video reviews since there isn't any. Um, they were putting jackets and stuff like that in there. So moving into the main compartment then, it's not a full horseshoe zip, or it's actually, um, well, before I go to that, got some side straps here, buckles on both sides to cinch more stuff down, tighten it up if you need to, to compress it. So it's not a full horseshoe zipper on this, which I really like on like my XO backpack, but close enough um, in there. Keep a puffy jacket. And for bear season, I take a set of puffy pants. These are just something I slip on. I usually wear brush pants, no insulation underneath or under armor or wool, merino wool leggings or anything like that. So, um, and then on top here, this is one pouch. I carry a cell phone charger in there, USB charger for mainly just for cell phones. And there's another pocket similar to that one down here below. And that's where I'll throw my car key. So it's down in there and pocket I'm not getting into and anything I don't really want to take out. Like I said, it's got the water bladder sleeve and the port at the top. It's got a clip for it. I don't think there's anything in there. So yeah, that's essentially it. I love this. And for those interested, this is the ballo, ballo pattern. I, I don't know how to say it, but um, I've been looking for a smaller whitetail pack. I didn't know what I've been looking for. Just back and forth on a couple different things. I bought some other ones. Didn't really like them. Uh, but this one, this is one of my favorites. So I've got a two-pack system. I've got my big XO pack that I usually do for late season. So you'll see that in my deer videos coming up. Um, really like that pack just because I, as far as walk, as we walk back in the woods and I get really sweaty when we walk, so I minimize everything that I wear. I pretty much go out there in a pair of merino wool leggings and merino wool top. That's all I wear out in the woods. Um, carry my pants, my jacket, any other base layers, extra insulation or anything like that, puffy jacket, I carry on my backpack, strap it down. So keeps me cool, keeps me in the stand longer and keeps me warmer. Um, but so yeah, that's the Kuyu Divide 1500 backpack. Uh, if you're interested, it's 1500 cubic feet inches. So if you're interested in a small backpack for whitetail hunting, day packs, or anything like that, I highly suggest this. Um, I like this pack. I just got the 1500 for the extra um, space. One thing over the 1200 and the 1500, you actually had the hip belt pouches too, and that's where I just like I showed you. I like put my camera in there so I whip it out easy. And the other one. I like carrying in my extra rounds so I can pull them out easy. So, well, hope you enjoyed that review. Um, hope it was a little beneficial from what's out there so far instead of just picture reviews or anything like that. So, figure I go step by step over what it has. So, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the review. Happy hunting.